What's going on there, Buttercup viewers? Guess what? It's like 4.30 in the morning, and old Krista in there is still sleeping. So we're going to wake her up so that we can both get on a plane and go get to the King of Hammers, which is happening, you know, right now. So let's go. Let's get her up. Hey, yo. What are you doing sleeping? Wake up. Hey, we're supposed to be on a plane. What are you doing? Are you filming me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. You know, we're supposed to be on a plane now. You got to get up. What's Come on. It? It's like 4.30 something. We're supposed to be gone by now. Guys, it's King of Hammers time and check it out. Look what I get to drive there. Oh, Raptor baby, y'all better buckle up, buttercup. It's Raptor time, baby. Woo, baby. I think I need to take this home. Hammer time! Look at that baby. VIP! Here is a Raptor R. It's freaking sweet. Now I'm letting somebody else drive the Raptor up ahead so they can have a turn. They've never driven one before. So I'm actually now in a black diamond, but we're here at Johnson Valley and I'm amazed by the amount of people that are here. I think there's about 80,000 people and campers as far as you can see. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but this is insane. We made it. I recognize that. I am here at the King of the Hammers and I'm getting ready to take some Broncos off-road here. So I think I'm gonna start off taking the Black Diamond because it's more like my Outer Banks with not a lot of gadgets. I think later on I will take the Raptor out. So I'm really excited to check out this place. This is gonna be a nice learning experience for me before I head out to Utah next month for United by Bronco. I'm gonna drive a Bronco Sport. Yes, I'm gonna be driving a Bronco Sport here at the King of the Hammers. I've got to drive the Raptor. I've driven a regular Bronco and everyone keeps telling me that these things are very, very capable. So let's put it to the buttercup test and just see how capable these Bronco Sports really are. 
I guess it's fitting to say buckle up buttercup. I guess we'll find out. All right. Okay, you're going. Cool. Thank you. Right. You're not going to go? No, I'm going to sit back here and get some work done. Oh, work. <laughs> I am actually really impressed with the interior of this thing. The leather is really nice. This is a heritage edition. They're going to go through a couple things with us. Um, but I am kind of shocked that I'm getting ready to go out into the desert in this because I'm used to a tall Bronco clearance and all of that. So I know there might be some clearance issues, but overall, I'm really excited to see how this thing does out there. So here's the goat modes. We've got normal, eco, sport. That's going to be slippery, mud and ruts, sand. And what's this one? Rock crawl. Wow, I don't even have rock crawl and buttercup. Really nice interior. Yeah, it also has the B&O sound system, so maybe we can pump some jams okay. when we get out there. Yeah. I don't think the Bronco Sport gets enough credit. I don't I mean, think so this. either. I mean, we're just, this. we're hopping over stuff like it's nothing. <laughs> it handles great, so let's see. I mean, yeah, it, I'm impressed. Not that I'm shocked because, you know, I've heard so many reviews about the Bronco Sport is not getting enough credit for an off-road vehicle. Hold on, I got it, I got it. Buckle up Buttercup Junior. Ooh. This could be Buttercup Junior. It's got so much sass. I could wrap it. You they ready? Just, they just gave us the okay to go faster. Hold on, hold on, yeah, go. Are you gonna stick Hit the this. phone out? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure? Go, go. A ripper! I'm telling you. Wow. What do you think? I, I'm, I'm impressed. I'll tell you what. Me too. This thing is super cool. Just look at the surroundings right now. I can't even believe I'm here. It is just so beautiful. That's the way it goes. This is how cameramen work. Right. Life of the cameraman, right? Cameramen are invincible. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Woo! Yo! Yeah, let it rip. Let it rip, butter stick or whatever your new channel is. <laughs> buttercup, what the buttercup junior? <laughs> this thing gets it. Yo, man. it goes. Do a donut. Do a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you come out of it. There you go, like a pro. Awesome job. That is so cool. This feels great. Oh my goodness. Super awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, we made it back to Bronco Base Camp, and I will say, I am really impressed with the Bronco Sport. The day is coming to an end, and I'm gonna take this thing out, whip it around a little bit, I have some fun, do some raptor stuff. Uh, this day has been incredible. It is definitely one for the books. Incredible. What a great day out here with some friends friends of Ford, really. Yes. And it has been fantastic. We've all had a great time. We've, We've seen been a lot to... of our Bronco friends oh, out yeah. here. And I... What are you doing? Hey, come with me. I don't know where I'm going. You want to come with me? I don't know how to get around out here. <laughs> well, we're going to learn together. Well, before... I've got a, I would actually would, but I've got to film something with Jordan here in like two minutes. So. Boo. Boo. Mine right now. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. For, for what the next two days? Until uh, till the sun sets, really. Well, so. <laughs> I, mean, I leave tomorrow. Well, so. We got three, four hours to break it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And we will, y'all. No, no <laughs> All right. All right, man. We'll catch you around. Bye. I do think next year I need to pack up the kids, camper, and just make at least a week of it. I agree. One day just is not enough. Every time. Woo! I can't believe I'm here. Johnson Valley 
California Interactor Friends of Ford.